Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. On the last video, I tried out a couple of new things on my Prusa XL printer to help with the filament stringing. I saw huge improvement using the G-code from 3D print dogs, but I felt like I needed something more. I had received a lot of comments about upgrading to the new Alpha firmware and trying out Input Shaper. I didn't feel I got the best results with Input Shaper on my single toolhead XL, but I was willing to try it. So I downloaded this Alpha firmware and flashed it onto the Prusa XL. I'll speed this up, but this process took about four minutes for me. When I jumped to the Input Shaping profile, it popped up the wipe options and I noticed the box for wipe into this object's infill was checked. I hadn't noticed if it was or wasn't checked in the previous profile. It didn't seem like it was, so I unclicked this. I scaled this down to 50%. In the comments, a subscriber suggested that tuning a smaller print with more tool changes will be easier to scale up than starting large. Also, I wanted to test that this alpha firmware with input shaping was being tested uh, completely on its own. So I removed the G-code for moving the tool head I used in the last video, at least for this print. And it sounds even better to have a two hour print instead of a nine hour plus print. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Well, I see there are not just fine strings, but some pretty thick lines. The whites of the eyes look pretty good, but that's about it. Both beaks are super stringy with multiple colors. The backs look the best I have seen, so what if I combine both the input shaper uh, with the new firmware and the custom G-code? Also, I scale down the print even more to 30% scale. This put the print at one hour. This print finishes quickly, and I feel like it turned out better than I was expecting. It's so little. I feel like the white of the eyes look good. There is a little bit of roughness in the black of the eyes. Also, I feel like the beaks look rough. But it's almost making me wonder if that's more from the 0.6 nozzle. Maybe that's just a little too large for this much detail. Very minimal stringing. The backs, though, are not smooth. I have been running all of these prints at 210. Maybe I can bump it back up to 215 to help the satin. What would you try next? Maybe I should have been trying to tune this all along with Benchies. I just wanted something fun. Would you keep trying to fine tune this print, or should I move on and see what other results I get? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.